Hi, I'm Tiffany Burke, and today I'm going to show you how to do some easy tips in Lightroom, some real basic things to brighten up your photo, make it look a little more clean, editorial, especially if you're shooting in natural light situations and you're unsure how to get from this sort of area over here over to something like this. This is all done in Lightroom and it's done fairly quickly. So I'll try to keep the video short, but I also wanna make sure that I include stuff to do for beginners, those of you just starting out with Lightroom, or maybe those of you needing to know some new tricks in it. Okay, so, and by the way, there's a million different ways to do things in Lightroom and this is just the ways that I do them. So you don't have to, I'm not the, you know, I'm not the expert here, but I'm happy to share the way that I do things so that you can learn how to better your craft. Okay, let's get started. First of all, how to do this, to do a before and after to check your work, you just go ahead and push the Y button when you're in develop mode. Push the Y button to go back, and then I'm just gonna reset the image back to how I originally took it. As you can see, it's slightly crooked because for some reason I cannot take a straight photo and we have a little bit of this in here and it's a little dark I underexposed just a little bit so that I could brighten it later and still maintain the detail of the dress this is all shot in natural light here's my settings over here my ISO is at 250 I'm on my 50 millimeter and I'm shooting at 1.4 I like to shoot at a 1.2 but in this case I wanted to make sure I could get both faces a little bit sharp and on focus. So we've reset the settings. One of the first things I like to do is straighten the image. You can do that by just going right over here. If you know all these basics, you can fast forward. Unless you really enjoy the sound of my voice, then just stay here. So you're going to kind of grab, click right here and drag a little to straighten your image to where you want it to be. For some reason, you can have all this empty space up here if you like, but I felt the image called for a tighter story. Especially if I was going to share it on social media, which I did on Instagram, and it really felt that that's where the story needed to be. You can use these lines right here to kind of line up, especially if you have a background or a cityscape. Background, I meant to say, like a trees. You know what I'm saying. You get. You smell what I'm stepping in. Okay, great. I'm so thrilled with that. Now, I have my own presets over here that I've made. And I could easily just say, oh, I know what it's like to do a studio shot. Done. My work is done. But because you guys are here, I'm going to walk you through how to do that. Um, I'll walk you through how to brighten your image and then how to make a preset so you can save it for later. All right. Number one, what you want to do here is uh, the color temperature feels really good, but I'll probably adjust that after I've adjusted all of my lighting. So I'm going to come through here and I'll probably just lighten it just a little bit to brighten them up a bit and uh, maybe some contrast just moving these things up and down here to play with them and we, this is like very basic how you can see look at whoa that's too much for me again my style although would be considered light and airy I actually really consider it to be more editorial and classic I feel though that this is not a blown out image this is not something that is a crazy edit this is something that could go in a magazine be classic and last a lifetime highlights you can pull down here in case that dress did blow out you see that it kind of pulls either way dress skin whites pretty much Shadows is a cool one to bring up. There's a lot of shadows behind her. Watch how they kind of can go away. But you got to be careful with that because it can make the shadows on her face and body go away and make it look not that natural. So I'll just pull up just a tad for this one. White is sort of the same thing we were dealing with earlier with highlights a little bit, but only crazier. So it's going to pull all the whites that it has in here and pull them up a bit. So I don't really play with it that much. Blacks is the same thing, but the opposite. It's going to find all of those and be able to mess with them in a different level. So maybe I'll just pull the blacks up a tad. I'm going to go back. I'm going to, you know, I just kind of keep toying with it until I get what I like. I might pull the vibrance down just a little bit. Barely. You don't want to pull it down too much or we're getting into Zombieville. And you don't want to make it too bright. 
or 1992, and we need Zach Morris's cell phone, so maybe just somewhere right down here. I feel like at this point, this is where I say, and then I'm going to paint a happy tree right over here. Excellent. That looks fine. I'll toy with it off and on. I'll, I'll go back and forth. Now, keep in mind, this is just a screen recording, so the coloring on my screen recordings is very different than what my calibrated screen looks like. So it's going to look different after it's screen recorded than uploaded to this video. So just kind of keep that in mind. Okay. Now, what about all this stuff on the edges? This isn't my favorite. Number one, uh, you should always, if you can, turn your lens correction on. Um, there we go. When you enable your profile connections, which is your, just your lens connection, you see how it flattened it versus, it's, you can see it's kind of curved a little. Flattens it and brightens it out right through there. Um, each lens is kind of a little curvature towards it and curves the photo, and so this is kind of a cool thing to have. I always like to sharpen an image, give it some sharpening. If you want it to, to have noise reduction, so you can have a really crazy noise reduction, which it's barely showing on here, or you can just do a little bit to make it softer, but this is kind of where I live with sharpening, and you can watch your sharpening up here. You can move this little thing. Well, that makes me look like a not so bright person, but it does move. Okay, so let's go back and start lightening the sides of this. One of my favorite tricks in Lightroom is to use this little gradient filter over here, and it automatically is already on lighten. I'm going to click right here, and it's going to pull up the filter, and I'm going to drag it along here. And now I'm going to brighten it. Look at that. Instead of brightening the entire image, it's just brightening the section or darkening the section that I want it to. And this is a really cool trick in order to lighten areas and still keep, especially if you want to keep your subject not blown out. So I'm going to do the same thing up here. Whoops, sorry friends. And then I'm just going to toy with it. Also, if I find that the coloring is off there, you can uh, change the coloring if you want to. Right? This is it's fun for like sunset photos. You're smelling what I'm stepping in. You get it. Uh, down here is a little bit darker or a little bit brighter, so maybe I want to darken it. Maybe I don't, but you absolutely can do something like that. It's a little blue, so then that's where you might want to yellow it out to make it a little more creamy to match the rest of your story should you choose to do that. For some reason, my computer sounds like it's taking off right now. I'm not sure if you all can hear it at home, but... Uh, all right, something that I like to do too is she has this shadow back here. She's pretty close to the wall. Uh, not that close, but one of the tricks when you do have someone near a wall is to pull them away from the wall to decrease shadowing. So I did the best that I could without her being too far away. In this case, I'll just take my lightning brush and just kind of lighten the area a little bit. It doesn't have to completely go away. I don't really hate it. It's not the worst. It's totally natural, but in order for her to really pop, um, okay, and then something you can do here if you want to smooth out her skin a little, you can. Be very careful with skin smoothing. You don't really need to do it. Look at her perfect skin anyways. I like to overdo it at first so I can see where the brush went. And then right here on your right hand side over by Clarity is where you can decrease it. See, look, so you can make her give her a lot of sharpening, make it really, really smooth. I like to just do just a, a little bit of smoothing. She doesn't really need a ton. Right here, she's a little dark area. If you wanted to get rid of that, you just take your cloning tool, click on it. Lightroom will decide for you, and you can see if you like it. And if you disagree, you can go here. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, doesn't look like there's a, there we go. <clears throat> looks like it created a look see that little circle in here so you either want to make it bigger or you want to then smooth that out so it's up to you you can just try smoothing now she has beautiful eyelashes but one trick that some people like to do is take your darkening tool and just paint right along here if you wanted to and that's pretty dark so then go ahead and slide it up over on the right hand side just a little bit more and then maybe sharpen it there you go cool all right, super, super simple image. There's the before, 
There's the after. I don't even know where those noises came from. I'm obviously a professional, but um, there you have it. And sometimes when you do this, you can kind of compare and you can say, oh, maybe this feels too, a tiny bit too bright. Go ahead and pull that down if it feels too bright. If the coloring feels a little off, you can just, you know, warm it up. Chris, I'm about to, or pull it down. You don't want to make her too Smurf-like. The temperature was pretty good on this, so I wouldn't really mess with it too much if you can help yourself. Okay, there you go. So super simple and easy. Lightroom has everything that you need right over here. The tools I really use the most are my crop tool, my clone tool. You can use this to take pimples and blemishes out, and uh, my lightning and smoothing tool, and my gradient filter tool. So. Otherwise, everything down here, just really simple, easy, basic adjustments. Now, if you really like this filter, you really like this edit, uh, one thing that you would do is the rest of your pictures, You, um, if they're all in the same lighting in the same section, go ahead and push shift and arrow over and then push sync. Now you can screenshot this if you want to, but I have everything checked except for certain things. Like I don't want to do the split toning and the brushes because that would look weird or the spot removal because not every single photo is identical. However, the rest of it, yeah, the profile correction for the lens, the exposure, the highlights, saturation, I'm down for that. So I'm going to go ahead and push sync. And now all these photos are going to change and sync right up if they matched. So you can see some of them are a little overdone down here, then I'll have to go through and hand fix those, no problem. Now, if I really like this this one edit and I wanna use it, pretend I'm gonna come back and shoot at the same wall over and over again, head all the way up here onto the left-hand side where it says presets right under your little thumbnail and click this plus sign. Then you're gonna label your preset and say indoor studio cream wall or whatever or Tiffany Burke talks a lot indoor okay create there's your preset right over here and then you can just so let's reset oh darn all my work is lost oh no Tiffany Burke talks a lot click it's done the preset is. However, the little hand things that I did, the gradient filters, the cropping, all of that part isn't done. But the adjusting of the lighting is done. So I would still have to redo all that. Or I can come down here to my history and say, oops, I didn't want to reset that. Uh, let's go back to before I reset the settings. There we go. Now the image is complete. So there you have it, folks. Some easy tips and tricks in Lightroom. If you liked this, I definitely will do some more um, other tips. I do not shoot in Photoshop. I've been a photographer for over eight years. I'm a commercial and portrait photographer. I shoot a ton of boudoir. I shoot for Amazon. I do a lot of awesome, fun things. I do um, all natural light. Sometimes for my commercial photography, I bring in a softbox. Uh, other than that, here it is. So enjoy. Let me know if you have questions. I don't check YouTube that often, believe it or not. So you can find me on Instagram at Tiffany Burke Photography, or I'm on Facebook, Tiffany Burke Photography as well. Although I don't check that as often as I wish that I could. Uh, go to TiffanyBurkePhotography.com. You can see all my work there and you can message me through there, which is probably the fastest way. Enjoy. I'm from Seattle, Tacoma area. Those of you in the Pacific Northwest, let's grab coffee if you want. Otherwise, have fun, and I'll uh, look for some more. And yeah, I do talk a lot. It's unfortunate, and I lack a filter. So uh, when I started writing hashtag no filter on Instagram, I realized it meant something different. And clearly, I am a dork. All right, have a good day, and I'll see you next time.